Hi, welcome to Kids Kingdom Sunday School, where kids grow in their relationship with God and with each other. And it looks a little bit different today, doesn't it, guys? Yep. Yep. We it's are so not weird. at church. We are in our basement. I know. It's weird. So <laughs> it's definitely different. But we want to give you guys some kind of Sunday school, a different kind of Sunday school, because it's important. And we are really excited to do something different and new. So one of the things that we do at Sunday school every week is we share good news. And good news, what's good news, Eden? Good news is something good that happens in your life. So during the week. But you guys have probably spent a lot of time together this week. So you probably know all the good stuff that's happened. So instead of good news this week, we were thinking that maybe we could take some time to do something a little bit different. Yeah. What if we, what were you thinking, Eden? I was thinking like, you know, it's, it's like hard because we have to, we have to be by ourselves and we can't like play with our friends over the weekend. It's really horrible. It is a little hard. It's it's a little but hard, but even when it, yeah. even when things are hard, I was thinking we could still find something to be thankful for. So I was yeah. thinking that's what we could talk about. So we're gonna give you guys at home a couple minutes. Actually, we're gonna give you a minute and thirty seconds to talk about something that you're thankful for at home. And I have a timer on my watch, so I'm gonna press that timer. And when you guys have about ten seconds, I'm gonna give you guys a wave and you're going to be ready to come back and we'll let you know. So here's the timer and talk about something that you're thankful for. Go. About 10 more seconds, guys. Yep. I have an idea. Maybe something you can, maybe sometimes you don't get to say what you're thankful for a lot, so maybe every time when you have food, you can say, I'm thankful for three things, and yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So, with everything that's been going on this week, you guys have probably been seeing stuff on the news or maybe hearing stuff or um, just thinking about stuff that's a little scary. It's um, scary to not be able to be at school. It's scary to not be able to see our friends like we normally do. Um, I am going to let you guys know something that is kind of cool. Even in Nolan, are growing up in the exact same house that I grew up in. And where we're at right now is actually one of the places that was most scary for me when I was their age. I, same, <laughs> same thing for you, Eden. Yeah. I did not like to come down here when I was little. Um, yeah. It was super scary and it just got more and more scary all the time when I ever I had to come down here. And the thing about it was, is I had to come down here a lot because my toys were down here and it was just, um, it was just really scary to me. And it, it was something that I thought that I would grow out of. And even as 
a teenager when I had to do my own laundry. Our laundry is down here. I would um, get my laundry and I'd run up the stairs as fast as I could because it was still scary to me. Um, I just didn't like being down here and that fear grew and grew and grew and it got really, really big. Um, and it's so, it's a little scary for Eden too. I would have to come down and get something and I run up the stairs as fast as I could, but now that like we have no work and no, and no school, I come down here a lot and I, it's just a basement. Yeah, you know, because one of yeah, Dad's down here a lot, so it's a little bit less scary when someone yeah. else is down here. One of the things that God wants us to to not to not have in our life is fear. He does not want us to be afraid. In fact, the Bible tells us over 300 times not not to be afraid or something along those lines don't be afraid so every time we look to god when we're afraid that fear instead of getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger starts to get less and less less and less powerful and that's what god wants for us he does not want to, us to be afraid what do you think is something you can do to look to god when you feel scared. That's something I want you guys to think about and talk about at home this week. And I'm going to give you a little hint. You already did something that can help you do that already today, just in this Sunday school lesson. So I would love to hear the things that you guys came up with. And what I want you to do is after you talk about it, is have mom or dad post to the Plymouth First United Methodist Facebook page all the ideas that you came up with about how you can look to God when you're afraid so all the people in the church can know. So when they're afraid, they can do those things too because adults get afraid just like just like kids do. Everybody gets afraid. And the thing is, Jesus wants us all to remember that he doesn't want us to be afraid. In fact, he wants us to have peace. And one of the things that he said to us in his word, this is from John 14, 27, he said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I give to you not as the world gives. Don't be troubled or afraid. The more we go to Jesus when we're afraid, the less powerful our fear is. This morning, we're going to do a little experiment. Eden's going to get some stuff out. And we're going to do a little experiment. And you can try this experiment at home if you want. And it's to help us to remember that Jesus can actually push the fear right out of our bodies. So you need four things to do this experiment. You need some vinegar. I want it number one. So here's a vinegar. You, and you don't need a jug this big. This is just what we had at our house. You need some baking soda. I want number two. Yep. You need a clear vase or jar or a glass. Oh. We're, using, we're using a little vase that I had upstairs. And you need a tub a shallow tub or something to catch it in because it's going to get a little messy. It's like so, yeah, kind of. So yeah, and some helpers are good. So, well, I don't think BB-8 says arms, so but he can be a good spectator. So what you want to do, so all these things represent something. So, so this, the jar represents your body so your body is right here we're going to put that right here the tub just is here because it's going to get a little messy so okay cool and so the fear is represented by the baking soda so we're going to go ahead and pour a good amount in there get a little bit more in there because we get it can be very scary yep so go ahead so we got quite a bit of fear in there so yeah, we'll just set it right here so you guys can see against our, bl our blue background, hopefully. So we got some fear in there. And then what happens when we have fear in our lives is we can feel anxious and we can feel worried and we can feel scared. Yeah. And that's not what Jesus wants for us. And so when we ask, Melanie, you want to help with this part? I do not like the smell of vinegar. She doesn't like the smell of vinegar. So when we remember to go to Jesus when we're afraid and ask him to help us with our fear, you want to help? Yeah. 
Okay. Yep. And we say, Jesus, help us, we're afraid. We ask Jesus to come, and he literally comes in, and he pushes some of the fear out of our body. Now, the thing is, guys, wait. The thing is, I want to show the people. If you look, there's still there's still fear in there, right? You can still see there's still fear in there. So we got to add more. So go ahead, Nolan. Let's go. Stop. Oh, wow. That is pouring out. That is pouring out. So That's hold on. Perfect. Now there's no more fear. Nope, there's still fear in there. Can I try oh, but it's getting less and less. Yeah, let's because do it. Because God is always with you. Because God is always with you. So go ahead, Eden. You can give it a try. Oh, so there you I'm go. so proud of myself. And every time we let Jesus come in, he pushes the fear out and it becomes less and less powerful. And then it becomes that full of bubbles. So when we have bad. fear in our life, we're all gonna have times when we're afraid, guys. It's just fun. part my turn, buddy. Just part of being being people. We're just going to have times when we're afraid. But the thing that we need to remember and that God wants us to remember is that in those times, we can go to Jesus and we can say, Jesus, I'm scared. I want your peace. I want you to help me right now. And every time we do that, every time we do that, Jesus does help us. And he pushes that fear right out of our bodies a little at a time. And every time we go to him, we get more of that peace and less of that fear. So right now, things can seem a little scary. And it's okay if you're a little scared. I'm a little scared too. But we can count on Jesus to help us because he's helping us get through this time. And it's cool to know that all of us are in it together. We're all in this together, guys. And we're going to get through it. And we're going to keep meeting together on Sunday mornings just like this. So I'll see you guys next week. But before we go... I want to pray with you guys. Does that sound good? So let's do a prayer. Jesus, thank you so much that you love us and that you want us to have peace. God, I just pray that you will help us to remember that, that when we're afraid that we can come to you and that you will just push the fear right out of our bodies, God. Every time we're afraid, we can count on you to do that. And we thank you and we praise you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So. Be sure to go back and answer that question about what you can do to look to God every time you're afraid. And be sure to put those answers on the Plymouth First United Methodist Church Facebook page so everyone in the church can see those. And then be sure to be looking at the Kids Kingdom Facebook page throughout this week for tips and tricks of how you can grow closer to Jesus and little fun things and activities that you can do at home. Because we want you guys to be growing closer to Jesus every day because it's it's what our families need to do. It's what we want you guys to be doing to grow stronger and closer to Jesus and strong in your faith. And this is a perfect time to do that because we have plenty of time to grow together in Jesus. And we are so glad that we get to do that together. So until next time, guys, we'll see you next Sunday. Bye! Bye.